Ready to be greedy while others are fearful? Looking to exchange depreciating dollars for appreciating assets? Want to know my top five stocks for March 2022? Then you have to check out today's video. He is a best-selling author. 30-year-old Jason Fieber has a plan. This guy retired at only 33 years old. I don't know if I know too many people that have accomplished something like that. He's really kind of a guru when it comes to passive income. Before I get into today's content, if you want exclusive access to my personal six-figure stock portfolio and alerts on any new investments I make, check out the Patreon link in the description below. I've been exchanging depreciating dollars for appreciating assets for the last 10 plus years. The dollar is worth less today than it was 10 years ago, and it'll be worth less 10 years from now. But the businesses I invested in 10 years ago worth much, much more today, and they'll be worth much, much more for years into the future. But that isn't even the real story. The real story is the safe, growing dividend income I collect from these businesses. That's because I buy high quality dividend growth stocks. These stocks represent equity in world-class enterprises that have lengthy track records of consistently increasing their dividends. These are stocks that pay reliable rising dividends funded from, you guessed it, reliable rising profits. The dividend growth investing strategy is so powerful, it allowed me to retire in my early 30s. I went from below broke at age 27 to financially free at 33. My dividend income, the dividend income I now collect, is enough to cover my bills. By the way, I explain exactly how I achieved financial freedom in just six years in my early retirement blueprint. If you're interested, you can download a free copy of my early retirement blueprint using the link in the description of this video. As great as these stocks can be though, not every dividend growth stock is a great buy at every time. Focusing on the best long-term opportunities right now is what this video is all about. Today, I wanna to tell you my top five dividend growth stocks for March, 2022. Ready? Let's dig in. My first dividend growth stock pick for March 2022 is Air Products and Chemicals Inc. stock ticker APD. Air Products and Chemicals is a major global producer and supplier of industrial gases. Most of the stuff we use every single day has to be manufactured and the manufacturing processes usually require industrial gases. It's low cost but necessary input. And if you want a reliable source of gases, you only have a few choices out there. Air Products and Chemicals with its $53 billion market cap operates as part of a global oligopoly. This is why it's not surprising to see solid top line and bottom line growth. While revenue has a compound annual growth rate of 0.8% over the last decade, that's largely because of restructuring. Earnings per share has a compound annual growth rate of 6.3% over that period. Solid business growth, even better dividend growth. This is a vaunted dividend aristocrat with 40 consecutive years of dividend increases. In fact, they increased their dividend only days ago, marking that 40th consecutive year. The 10-year dividend growth rate of 10.1% is great and easily beats inflation, even with inflation running hot right now. And the stock also yields a market beating 2.7%, which is 50 basis points higher than its own five-year average. The dividend is also covered by a payout ratio of 62.9% based on the midpoint of guidance for this fiscal year's adjusted earnings per share. So this dividend aristocrat is going to keep doing dividend aristocrat things. The stock is down 24% from its 52 week high and it now looks extremely undervalued. This isn't some speculative, unprofitable, so-called innovation stock that was in a bubble. This is a dividend aristocrat doing over $2 billion a year net income, but that hasn't stopped the stock from getting caught up in the deflating of bubbles elsewhere. Nonetheless, this has only made the stock that much more appealing for long-term investors who can understand the difference between price and value. We recently put together a full analysis and valuation video on air products and chemicals showing why shares could be worth almost $343 each. The stock's price is at about $240 right now. So a big difference between that price and the potential fair value. And that's just what you wanna see 
if you're accumulating shares. My second dividend growth stock pick for March 2022 is BlackRock Inc. Stock ticker BLK. BlackRock is a multinational investment management corporation. This $114 billion by market cap asset manager is truly a behemoth. It has an astounding 10 trillion dollars in assets under management, making them the largest asset manager in the world. They have scale where scale really matters. Their throne at the top of the heap has resulted in revenue growing at a compound annual rate of 8.5% and earnings per share compounding at an annual rate of 12% over the last 10 years. Their fee base, which is AUM, is massive and growing. The higher the fee base, the higher the fees. What do higher fees mean? More profit and a bigger dividend. Indeed, BlackRock has increased its dividend for 13 consecutive years. The 10-year dividend growth rate of 11.6% is solid in and of itself. However, what's particularly impressive here is the fact that the dividend growth rate has shown acceleration. The most recent dividend increase came in at over 18%. Meantime, the stock offers a market-beating yield of 2.6% to go along with all of that double-digit dividend growth. And with a payout ratio of only 51.9%, showing an almost perfect balance between retaining earnings for internal growth and returning money back to shareholders, the dividend is positioned to continue growing at least as fast as the business. The stock is more than 20% off of its 52-week high, and I think that drop has created an attractive long-term entry point. More than $200 a share has been shaved off of the business since early November. We're talking billions of dollars in market cap here. While that's a bummer for those who bought at the high, it could be a gift for those who didn't. We recently put together a full analysis and valuation video on this world-class company, showing why shares could be worth over $1,000 each. With BlackRock trading hands for about $750 a share, there could be tremendous upside here. While you wait for that upside to unfold, you're collecting a market-beating yield growing at a double-digit rate. Not much to dislike here. My third dividend growth stock pick for March 2022 is Starbucks Corporation, stock ticker SBUX. Starbucks is the world's leading retailer of high quality specialty coffee products. This is an amazing company. Starts off as a coffee shop, turns into a $106 billion by market cap QSR machine. Unreal. And with the pandemic related lockdowns, unfortunately taking out a lot of small businesses out there like local coffee shops, Starbucks is arguably in a better competitive position than ever before. The company has compounded its revenue at an annual rate of 9.1% and its earnings per share at an annual rate of 16.4% over the last 10 years. That is very, very impressive top line and bottom line growth. Also very, very impressive is the dividend growth. The 10 year dividend growth rate is a jaw dropping 20.7%. Even with inflation running hot, Starbucks shareholders are still seeing their purchasing power increase. The company has increased its dividend for 12 consecutive years, but with a moderate payout ratio of only 52.8%, they're just getting started with the dividend raises even after all of that double digit dividend and growth. On top of this, the stock yields 2.1%. This company has one of the biggest and best brands on the planet. And this recent weakness could be your opportunity to get in on it. Starbucks continues to execute well as a business, yet the stock is down 21% this year alone. There's a disconnect between the business and the stock. And as a long-term investor who continues to accumulate, I love these short-term disconnects. Our full analysis and valuation video on Starbucks reveals why it's compelling and why it could be worth almost $110 a share. Cheap stocks can get cheaper. Even though the stock looks significantly undervalued right now, it could become even more so. That said, I find it highly unlikely that anyone investing in Starbucks here will be unhappy with their capital gain and aggregate dividend income collected a decade from now. Take a look at Starbucks if you haven't already. My fourth dividend growth stock pick for March 2022 is Travelers Companies Inc. Stock ticker TRV. Travelers is a property casualty insurance company. As I've said many times before, I absolutely love the insurance business model. Most business models make money by selling products and or services. Insurance does this, but then they also make money through the float that's built by the time delay between collecting premiums and paying out on claims. In fact, a lot of insurance companies make even more money from investing the float than from selling insurance. This is why $42 billion by market cap travelers has consistently grown the business like clockwork. Revenue has a compound annual growth rate of 3.4% over the last decade, while earnings per share has a compound annual growth rate of 9.2% over that time period. Also growing like clockwork is the company's dividend. 
Travelers has increased its dividend for 17 consecutive years, and I have no doubt that they'll continue to increase the dividend for many more years to come. Their 10-year dividend growth rate of 8.2% lines up pretty well against earnings per share growth over that same time frame. You're layering that dividend growth on top of the stock starting yield of 2%. And with a low payout ratio of only 24.7%, the dividend is set up to head a lot higher from here. This is a rare stock that's actually up on the year, but it still looks modestly undervalued. Travelers flies under the radar, but they're set up well right now. First, with the market so volatile right now, there's a flight to safety. I think that's why this stock is up 11% on the year at the same time as a lot of high-flying tech stuff is way down on the year. Second, interest rates are set to rise this year, and that benefits this company through the additional net investment income they can earn from their 80 plus billion dollar investment portfolio. We put out a video not long ago on travelers analyzing and valuing the business. The final valuation estimate came out to slightly over $178 a share. The stock's price is a bit below that level, and with rising rates upon us, travelers is a pretty good way to play that. My fifth dividend growth stock pick for March 2022 is Williams Sonoma Inc. Stock ticker WSM. Williams Sonoma is a multi channel retailer of high quality home products and furnishings. This $11 billion by market cap retailer has figured it out. They meet the customer wherever they want to be met with the products they want to buy. More than half of the company's sales have been through the e commerce channel for years, which positioned them incredibly well heading into a pandemic, and they've taken full advantage of their competitive position. This shows up in the growth of the business. They've grown revenue at a compound annual rate of 7% and earnings per share at a compound annual rate of 16.3% over the last decade. Really impressive business growth. The dividend has also grown at an impressive rate. That's right, the 10-year dividend growth rate is 13.9%. Inflation, which is all over the news, is running at about 7% right now. Williams-Sonoma is growing their dividend at twice that rate. The stock also yields 2%, which beats the market. If you can beat the market on yield and inflation on growth, you're off to a great start. Even after all of that double-digit dividend growth, the payout ratio is only at 21.4%. That's extremely low, giving the company a lot of leeway in terms of future dividend raises. The stock has been absolutely hammered, down 35% from its 52-week high and it looks buyable again for the first time in a while. The stock probably got ahead of itself as it ran up well past the $200 mark, but down here at around $144, I see that pricing as significantly more advantageous when you compare it to what the business is likely worth. On that front, we'll be putting out a video very soon fully analyzing this high quality retailer and showing why the shares are potentially worth almost $196 each. Based on the current price, shares are potentially 46% undervalued. With that kind of gap between price and estimated intrinsic value, this might be one of the most undervalued dividend growth stocks out there. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give us a like if you did, and let us know in the comments what you think about my top five dividend growth stocks for March 2022. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also take a look at the description box below for some important links, including the link to my personal stock portfolio. This six-figure portfolio, which I call the Fire Fund, generates enough passive dividend income for me to live off of. It allowed me to retire in my early 30s. I've made my portfolio entirely accessible over a Patreon, and I also post alerts there whenever I buy or sell stock. I put my money where my mouth is, and I'm often invested in the same high quality dividend growth stocks that I make videos on. Over the years, I've heard from thousands of investors who have been profiting from many of the same exact stocks that I own. So if you think this is something that you could benefit from as well, check the link in the description to see my portfolio and start getting my buy and sell alerts. I'll see you next time.